Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This video has been prompted by a subscriber who needed my help. Now I've never set up a jet, uh, never actually flown a model jet, so he asked me specific things that he wanted to set up. So it was basically that you have like a normal mode and then you have a Elevon mode and then a, mo a mode where both the normal Aileron's and Elevons are mixed. So I've worked out the mix and I thought the easiest way for me to help this person is just, just to do a video of it and I can show you as well how to do it. There's probably other ways of doing this, but I've come up with a way of doing it. And so we are going to switch over to OpenTX Companion and I'll show you in there. And then I will demonstrate the uh, mixes working. Now I'm not going to go through the setup because I think someone who's flying a jet will know how to set up a basic model. Uh, we're going to do what I needed to do to get the mixes to work. Now the first one is to go to flight modes and I set up two global variables for the flaps, one at 50% and one at 70%. Of course, you're going to have to adjust these accordingly. And then we are going to go to the inputs which are absolutely standard and then we're going to go to the mixes and this is where the work starts. I'm just going to go through line for line um, parrot fashion as such and show you what how I set this up so on the channel one is uh, the first aileron so we've got the sources aileron we have to now the weights whether they have to be a minus or plus depends on your setup and how the servos are installed in your model but for the rig the this rig that I've used to, to demonstrate this I have to have a minus 100 weights in here and I beg your pardon, and then the switch SE, which is going to be the mode switch. So this would be normal mode in the forward position. Now, the second aileron line, um, you can see we've got the weight, uh, the sources aileron input. We've got the weight as minus 100, and we've got the switch SE in the back position. Now, in this mode, the person wanted flaperons working and elevons as well. So this is uh, the switch SE in the back position. Now again, you can change these switches around however you want them. This is just how I'm demonstrating this. Now the next two lines are for the flaps. Now I had to set up a logical switch for this so that it would, it would work. So if we go to the logical switches, it's just simply, it's an um, AND function. So it's when the uh, switch SE is in the back position, all the uh, flapper on and elevon mode. The switch is back and then it, when the switch is in SA which is your flap switch is in the middle position I wanted a logical switch for that and then the same on the second line it's an AND and again the uh, SE switch in the back position and then with this switch SA in the uh, back position so this gives us our two flap ranges now we go back to the mixes and I'll just quickly have a look at one of them and you can see I've put the sources max the weight is the global variable now again minus or plus depending on the installation of your servos offset is zero and there we go logical switch one so when logical switch one is active this will be active this mix okay let me go on to the second one and the same again source max now it's global variable two so you've got the, the, the different flap setting and the offset is zero and switch um, logical switch zero two. So when that's active, you'll have the um, different flaps setting. Now, th there's exactly the same, obviously for the second aileron, which is on channel five. It's exactly the same um, setup as the first channel, but you may have to change the weights as I've already said. Now, with regard to the elevator, we've got the standard elevator set up and that's uh, I've called this um, elevator one you can see the source is elevator it's minus the global uh, the weight is minus 100 and this is switch in the forward position then the forward position for the modes that will be just normal normal flight mode then the next one is for the elevator and you can see it's again the source is elevator and it's global uh, so the weight is minus 100 and this is not switch in the forward position so when the switch is in the middle of the back position this would be active okay then we go over to the aileron part of this this is going to be the elevon mixing so 
if we go down here you can see the source is aileron the weight minus 100 and the switch not in the four position and now you have to set that up exactly the same for the second ele elevator servo which is down here so i won't go through that um, that, that basically is everything you need. Obviously the throttle and the rudder are standard. You may not have a rudder, but I, I put that into the mixes so they are actually there. You can obviously pause the video if you want to just write down the mixes or program in, into your radio. But please, obviously you're going to do this at your own risk because I've only tested this on a test rig and not in an actual aeroplane. So just be cautious to make sure that the mix, mix works properly before you fly your aeroplane. Now let's take a look at my test rig and you'll see the mix is working. Now let's do a demo. So we have our SE switch forward and the SA switch forward. So we're in normal mode. So you can see the ailerons. Now the flaps are going to be elevators for this purpose. So there you go. And okay. Now if we switch over to the middle mode, now we have elevons. So this would be on the back of the aircraft. So you can see now they're acting as elevons. Bank right, bank left, up elevator, down elevator. Then if we pull the switch forward, you're going to see now that all of the controls are going to work in unison. And then the elevators will work as well. So you've got the elevators. and But also in this mode, now your flaps come into action. There we go, your flapperons. And they, everything will still work. And there we go, flaps back up, then back into normal mode. Okay, I hope that's uh, explained how those mixes work. Thanks for watching this video, and if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now.